Hello and welcome to Logo Mentors YouTube channel and you're watching programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about the while loops in Java. So we have seen different loops that you can use in Java in our last video. So the first loop that we're going to see is while loop. So we have already seen these points in our last video about the while loop. While loop can be used to repeat a task a certain number of time or tell a certain condition is true. The task inside the loop will execute again and again as long as the condition returns true. The loop might not run even once if the condition is false. So these are the three points and we're going to see that implemented directly in a program right now. So I'm going to use my Eclipse IDE. So I'm going to create a class named as while loop. So this is going to create my class. My class is created. So I'm going to declare my main method, public static void main. Sorry, instead of public, I just wrote main. So I'm going to use string args is an array. Save it. So I've created the main method. Right now, we're going to write a program for while loop. So we're going to loop through something and do something. So I'm having an idea of looping through numbers and printing numbers. So I'm going to print numbers from 1 to 20 in this program. So let's actually create a variable, integer variable named as i is equal to 1. And while loop is created. So inside the while loop, we have to give a condition. So I want to print numbers from 1 to 20. So I'm going to run this loop till the i becomes greater than 20. So I'm going to give i less than or equal to 20. So this is my condition and the while loop is going to give me true unless and until i is less than or equal to 20. So this loop is going to run till i get above 20 or greater than 20. So I'm going to print out system dot out dot print Allen and I'm going to print the number is and I'm going to add I to this so but this I is not going to change this I is going to be one for the entire loop it's going to run again and again this is going to just print me the number is one the number is one the number is one all throughout the while loop is not going to close so what we have to do is that I'm going to increment i's value after I print out the i value. So this is going to increment i's value by 1 every time the loop is running. So at the point where it hits 20, it's going to close the loop and come out of it. So I'm going to print out, sorry about that, system.out.print. And I'm going to print like the loop is finished. So this program is going to print from 1 to 20. And then once the loop is over, it's going to print me the loop is finished. So let's run the program. It's going to take some time. And you can see that the print is worked fine. So the number is 1. And it started from 1 and printed to 20 and the loop is finished so it came out of the loop it incremented from 20 to 21 at this state and it went to while loop again it checked for the condition the i is greater than 20 so it's going to come out of the loop it's going to print out the system dot out that print ln so this is how the while loop has to be done and you can also change it to 10 in order to print from 10 to 20 so i'm going to run the program again so now you can see that from 10 to 20 the numbers are printed out and the loop is finished after that so what happens if I don't use this? So this while loop is going to run forever. So try to make sure that you define some kind of a condition that's going to close the loop or going to escape from the loop at one point of time. So that actually ends the program for the while loop. Hope it was understandable and you can grasp it. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you find this video useful, please like the video, hit the like button and also share this video with your friends and family. And please subscribe to the channel and if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it. 
in the comment section or on the Google Plus page, Facebook page or in the Twitter feed. And you can also contact me personally through the social links that I have provided in the description section of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.